Nero, he was adopted by his great-uncle Claudius, thus becoming his heir and successor. Like Claudius, Nero became emperor with the consent of the Praetorian Guard. Nero's mother, Agrippina the Younger, dominated Nero's early life and decisions until he cast her off and had her killed five years into his reign. During the early years of his reign, Nero was content to be guided by his mother, his tutor Lucius Aeneas Seneca, and his Praetorian prefect Sextus Afronius Burrus. As time passed, he began to play a more active and independent role in government and foreign policy. During his reign, the redoubtable general Corbulo conducted a successful war and negotiated peace with the Parthian Empire. His general Suetonius Paulinus crushed a major revolt in Britain, led by the Iceni queen Boudicca. The Bosporan kingdom was briefly annexed to the empire, and the first Jewish-Roman war began. Nero focused much of his attention on diplomacy and trade, as well as the cultural life of the empire, ordering theaters built and promoting athletic games. He made public appearances as an actor, poet, musician, and charioteer. In the eyes of traditionalists, this undermined the dignity and authority of his person, status, and office. His extravagant, empire-wide program of public and private works was funded by a rise in taxes that was much resented by the upper classes. In contrast, his populist style of rule remained well admired among the lower classes of Rome and the provinces. Until his death and beyond. Various plots against his life were revealed, the leaders of which, most of them Nero's own courtiers, who would be executed, at least until his final demise. In AD 68 Vindex, governor of the Gaulish territory Gallia Lugdunensis, rebelled, with support from Galba, governor of Hispania Terracinensis. Vindex's revolt failed in its immediate aim. Though Nero fled Rome when its discontented civil and military authorities chose Galba as emperor. On 9 June in AD 68, he committed suicide, becoming the first Roman emperor. After learning that he had been tried in absentia and condemned to death as a public enemy, his death ended the Julio Claudian dynasty, sparking a brief period of civil wars known as the Year of the Four Emperors. Nero's rule is usually associated with tyranny and extravagance. Most Roman sources, including Suetonius and Cassius Dio, offer overwhelmingly negative assessments of his personality and reign. Likewise, Tacitus claims that the Roman people thought him compulsive and corrupt. Suetonius tells that many Romans believed that the great fire of Rome was instigated by Nero to clear the way for his planned palatial complex, the Domus Aurea. According to Tacitus he was said to have seized Christians as scapegoats for the fire and burned them alive, seemingly motivated not by public justice but by personal cruelty. Some modern historians question the reliability of the ancient sources on Nero's tyrannical acts. However, a few sources paint Nero in a more favorable light. There is evidence of his popularity among the Roman commoners, especially in the eastern provinces of the empire, where a popular legend arose that Nero had not died and would return. At least three leaders of short-lived, failed rebellions presented themselves as Nero reborn to enlist popular support. 